Are you thinking of traveling to China, but you're not sure what area to go to? Well, Xi'an might be the place for you. With lots of history, food, and adventure, Xi'an definitely does not disappoint. We're Tia and Andy, and here are our top 10 things to do in Xi'an, China. The Terracotta Warriors are one of the most famous tourist attractions in Xi'an, and for good reason. The Terracotta Warrior Army is a collection of sculptures of the army of Emperor Qin Shi Huang. The figures were discovered in the 70s by a local farmer in Lintong County who had begun to dig a well and stumbled upon the ruins. Nobody could have imagined the sheer size of the warrior army until excavation began. There are three pits to visit and a relics hall. We recommend starting with the relics hall and working your way up to the first pit, which is the most popular one. Each pit contains parts of the terracotta army that have been excavated and put back together piece by piece. It is truly a sight to see. Check out the bell tower located in the center of Xi'an at the intersection of four streets, east, west, south, and north. Purchase your tickets and make your way up to the beautiful views of the tower and from the tower. This bell tower is one of the most preserved and grand bell towers in China and gives you a stunning view of the city around it, both in the daytime and the nighttime. A close 10 minute walk from the bell tower, you'll find the drum tower. Head on up to check out the ancient drums and the meanings behind them. If you time it right, you can also be there for a musical performance. Take a hike on Huashan, also noted as the most dangerous hike in the world. Huashan is a mountain located just outside of Xi'an, and it's one of the five great mountains of China and has a long history of religious significance. There's five peaks, each with varying heights and different stunning views. We chose to experience the mountain the same way they did in the old days, and hiked up it ourselves. However, if hiking isn't your thing, you can opt to take a gondola up to enjoy the views. There are two additional paid attractions that you can do as well. These are what makes the mountain the most dangerous in the world. The first is the famous plank walk, and the second is the descent to the chess pavilion. If you want to hit these up though, it's best to get there early morning as the lines can get very long. All that exploring is going to get you hungry, and the best place to go for food is the Muslim Quarter. As you walk through the Muslim Quarter, you'll come across vendors selling different Muslim Chinese fusion dishes. Top dishes that you'll want to try include Rojao Mo, which is a pork sandwich, Liang Pi, which are cold noodles, and Jing Gao, which is a rice and date dessert that's dipped in sugar. You'll definitely not want to miss out on any of these. Once you've filled up on food, continue heading through the streets of the Muslim Quarter until you come up to the Great Mosque. The Great Mosque of Xi'an is the largest mosque in China and an active place of worship. It was built during the Ming Dynasty and has five beautiful courtyards filled with symbolic buildings and relics. Take your time as you stroll through each of the courtyards and don't forget to look up, down and all around at the beautiful architecture of each building. Check out the Big Wild Goose Pagoda. As you make your way towards the pagoda, don't miss the stunning water fountain and bronze sculptures in the grounds surrounding the area. Once you get to the entrance, you'll need to purchase a ticket to enter and stroll through the temple and surrounding gardens. At the back of the garden is where you'll find the entrance to the actual pagoda and you'll need to purchase a separate ticket to go up. There's seven floors total with stunning views at the top, so make your way up there and spend some time looking at the scenery. If you're into art or looking for a personalized souvenir, head to the Calligraphy Market. As you walk through the streets, you'll see storekeepers sitting leisurely in their stores or walking about playing Shen, an ancient egg-shaped wind instrument with eight holes. You can also find calligraphy artists and pieces for sale or get your very own Chinese seal engraved. If you're looking for something a little more relaxing, hit up the Guangren Temple. 
This is the only Tibetan Buddhist monastery in the whole Shanxi province. The temple was incredibly serene and absolutely stunning. We were some of the very few people who were there and we were able to walk through at our own pace and enjoy the vibrant colors and stunning statues of deities. This temple was definitely a hidden gem that was a great pleasure to explore. If you're looking for something more authentic, hit up a local neighborhood. You'll find that many locals hit up food stalls in the morning on their way to work or on their way to taking their children to school. You may also stumble upon markets where locals do all their grocery shopping. Here you can find fresh meats and fish, tofu and soy products, fresh fruits and vegetables, and lots and lots of spices.